gosh, hello everyone. Whoa, Jessie, wait up, slow down. She's just so excited because today we will visit a friend in the mangroves. Don't know what mangroves are? Swim along with us to find out. My name is Mermaid L, and this is Jessie. My job is to protect our oceans and all my sea friends. We're going to visit the mangroves today. But what are they exactly? Well, mangroves are an ecosystem. First, let's find out what an ecosystem is. Imagine an ecosystem as a big, busy neighborhood where lots of different plants, animals, and other living things live together. They all have jobs to do, like making food, cleaning up, and taking care of each other. And just like a neighborhood, they also need things from their environment, like water, air, and sunlight to stay healthy and happy. Everything in the neighborhood is interconnected. And when one thing changes, it can affect everything else. That's what an ecosystem is. And mangroves are a very unique ecosystem. It is a place where the land meets the sea and give each other high fives. They're like super cool nature neighborhoods right at the edge of the ocean. But here's the kicker. These neighborhoods are filled with interconnected plants and trees that are super tough and can thrive in salt water. The thing about mangroves is they do incredible things for our planet. To better show you, let's go meet my Mer sister, Mermaid Maggie, at the mangrove. Hi, Mermaid Maggie. I present to you my friends that are watching through the porthole. Hello, friends. Thank you for coming to visit me here. Mangroves sure are fantastic. Shell, yeah, they are. And they are so important for our planet. That's right. Rising levels of carbon dioxide, CO2, from burning fossil fuels and deforestation trap the heat from the sun, making our planet warmer, which poses risks to ecosystems, biodiversity, and even humans. Mangroves are incredibly efficient at storing this carbon. Despite covering only a small percentage of the Earth's surface, they store large amounts of carbon, 10 times greater than mature tropical forests. They reduce the levels of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. Isn't that more amazing? They are also great water filters. Not only mangroves filter and purify water as it flows through their roots, but they also trap sediments, pollutants, and even trash, helping to improve water quality and maintain the health of coastal ecosystems. They also help protect the coast against storm surges. But Maggie, how can you tell which mangrove tree is which? Each mangrove tree has a few ways to identify them. I like to use the following rhyme. Red, red, pointed head. Black, black, sulky back. And white, white, bolts on tight. If you look closely, red mangroves have pointy leaves. Black mangroves get rid of salt through the backs of their leaves. And white mangrove leaves have two small bumps on its stem that secrete sugars. So, red, red, pointed head. Black, black, salty back. White, white, bolts on tight. I love that rhyme. The red and black mangrove species can also be identified by looking at their roots. The red mangrove has crop roots that drop from the trunk and branches, providing a strong support system. And the black mangrove has air roots, which grow vertically to breathe air. For sure. One last thing. Mangroves serve as vital nurseries for a wide variety of marine species, including fish, crustaceans, and mollusks. The intricate root system provides shelter and food for juvenile marine organisms, supporting the growth and development of coastal fish populations. Hey Elle, wanna hear a joke? Of course! Why do mangrove trees have so many friends? Why? Because they're really good at branching out! <laughs> well, my sister, it's been a splash exploring the mangroves with you. Anytime! And just like the land meets the sea, we will meet again. You High will. five. This was such a splash, right? Yeah. Mangroves are extremely important to our planet. And now with the rise of carbon in our atmosphere, mangroves are working extra hard. You can help our mangroves by shrinking your carbon footprint. That means using less stuff that makes our planet too warm, like driving cars that use a lot of gas or leaving lights on when you're not in the room 
Instead, you can walk, bike, or take the bus sometimes and turn off the lights when you don't need them. When you use less energy from things like coal or gas, you help keep the air cleaner and cooler for our mangroves to grow big and strong. Oh, we have to get back to work. After all, saving the seas is a full-time job. See you on the next episode. Mermaid kisses, starfish wishes. Thank you for watching. Join me on my Saving the Seas mission by making better choices on your daily life. You can reduce your carbon footprint, ditch single-use plastics, or participate in a beach cleanup. Join the Mermaid L Kids Club at mermaidlkidsclub.com for more free ocean education resources and mermaid fun. You can also make a donation to support our ocean conservation efforts at savingtheseas.org. Together, we can make a difference on our ocean's health. See you again soon.